Kavakos Güven, Skoşovetya, IJBN Doktor Başkanı'na asistan kafası sözü ile bir event sözü ile bulundu. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the qualitative genetics. The qualitative genetics or the traits are the possibilities of continuous variants. When we talk about the qualitative genetics, in 1760, the Joseph Paul Reiter reported first case of the continuous variation due to the qualitative trait. The qualitative characters are an inherited characters that express the phenotype in all degree of variation in one often indefinite, extreme, and other are characters determined by the polygeny. The difference between the qualitative and the quantitative traits. The qualitative traits and the quantitative traits. The qualitative traits are the character of the kind, and the quantitative traits are the character of the group. These continuous variations are the qualitative traits or the qualitative types are the discontinuous variations or the distinct phenotypic classes. And the quantitative traits are the continuous variations or the phenotypic measurement of a spectrum. Qualitative traits are the single gene effects, and the quantitative traits are the polygenic control or the effect of the single gene traits like to be detected. The qualitative traits are concerned with the individual matching their progeny and the concerns with the population of an organism consisting of all the possible kind of mating. The analyzed by making the count and ratio. So here it concerns with the population of an organism consisting of all possible kind of mating. So the qualitative traits are the analyzed by making the count and the ratio and the statistical analysis is done when the quantitative traits okay qualitative traits are the x and forms the round wrinkle or the p form that means the structural home or the homeless conditions in the cat cattle or the pigment or the black white coat of the pig or the antigen or the antibodies etc. The qualitative trait that means improvement or the skin color or the eye color that means the hair color or the weight or the height. In plant the seed color in hair sizes or the length of the corolla okay of the tobacco in animal, the size in chicken, size in habits, or the white spotting, etc. The multiple factors or the hypothesis concern. The, the multiple factors and the hypothesis concern that is a gene in or the individual producing a slight effect on the phenotype, but in combination with a few or many other types controls as the qualitative characters and is called polygeny. Okay? So here, since there are many genes of this kind for one qualitative character, they are also known as multiple factors. These factors have two small and effect to be traced. Okay? So those genes which contribute to the trait involved is called contributing effects or the active gene or the allele. Those alleles which do not contribute to the trait involved are called non-contributing or non-effective or null gene. Some characters of the quantitative traits that means the inheritance of the relative simpler qualitative multiple factors of the polygens will be illustrated in this section. So the camel color in the, the skin color in the human or the eye color in the human. So the kernel color in wheat or a whole grain of the seeds of the seeds and plants such as the corn, wheat, barley is called the kernel. So the kernel color in wheat are studied by the Swiss genetic or neutral for the first time in 1908. So the red kernel and the white kernel when uh, for 
also some big home stuff. Right? Very good. Okay. So here are the F1, F2 generations of many computers like the phenotypically they have contributing to the red, medium red, to medium red, and red light red and very light red or the skin color in human or this characteristic was given by the day food in 1930 in Jamaica. He found that two pair of the genes or the medium cause different different skin pigments. So the negro and the white one. So the results of the negro. Polygenic inheritance of the skin color in human. So the eye color in human, in human means the eye color of the eye is found to be determined by the polygens and these genes have been suggested to be the exponent. At least nine classes of the eye can be recognized in human. So in order to increase the amount of melanin, Eye color can be designated as the light blue, medium blue, and the dark blue, gray, green, light brown, and medium brown and brown. So it differs the number of contributing elements for each type of the eye of the human being that is light blue, medium blue, dark blue, gray, gray, and green, light brown, medium, and dark brown. Thank you. This session is powered by 2.0 to the human students. If you have any queries, the discussion is a problem solver session.